to my channel and if you haven't been to my channel before, hello, I'm Rachel. I get a fair few questions about how I decorate the places that I live in, like what I do to get it that way. I remember it didn't used to always be like this, I used to own a lot of stuff and it's just taken a lot of work just progressively cutting it down as much as I can. So in this video we're going to be doing a wardrobe cull because I did one six weeks ago but I wanted to do one again because I have lost a bunch of weight if you like if you don't know, like if you don't follow my journey, I've lost a lot of weight, I've turned up a lot so I'm a lot smaller than I was. A lot of my clothes don't fit anymore so I've been getting rid of the pieces that don't fit. I used to always keep the bigger clothes, you know, just in case I put the weight back on but I am determined I'm not putting any weight back on and so these clothes have got to go. <laughs> um, we're also going to be doing the same thing for shoes and bags. Uh, I might not film that because I only have like one pair of shoes that I need to get rid of. I don't really own that many shoes and I only own three bags so <laughs> eventually you can get it down to that sort of level. Um, but at first, if you have a lot of stuff, this will probably take a lot of time, maybe a couple of days even, uh, to get it down to where you need to get it down to. And I just find that owning less stuff is more relaxing. You don't have to worry about it. It's sort of less possessions to worry about if you do have to move. And it also helps as well, like if you do have too much and you need to get rid of it, you can sell some of it and you can make some money off it. If you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, it would be awesome. Uh, any questions, want to know where anything's from, leave me a comment and I'll get to it when I can. First off, I'm just going to take all of my clothes out of my side of the wardrobe and out of my chest of drawers as well. You are actually going to take everything. And if you've not done this very often before, also take all your shoes, hats, bags, just pretty much everything you own and I find it works best if you get out of your bedroom, take it away from that place so you can sort it out somewhere else. I'm going to grab some bags and just a basket so we can separate the piles. Now I like to make a pile for pyjamas and underwear, a pile for long pants, a pile for shorts, a pile for shirts, a pile for skirts, a pile for jackets, dresses and then a separate pile altogether for workout clothes because I do need a lot more of them, I'm working out pretty frequently. Then you're just going to sit there and you're going to divide up all your clothing into those sections so that way you can see what you own a lot of and what you don't have enough of. That's a, that'll also help you when you need to pick outfits for like winter or summer. If you don't know what an item is or if it looks good anymore, just make sure you try it on. If you feel really good in it, that's when you know you need to keep it. Now you're going to ask yourself, does it fit? Do I feel attractive when I wear it and can I put it in at least four outfits? So you want your pieces to be versatile because we're trying to minimize as much as possible and you want to be able to feel good in the outfits. That's the most important thing. Then sort it into piles. So I keep a pile I'm going to keep, one that I'm going to donate to charity, one to throw away and one to put in storage like vacuum bags. After you finish sorting it all, go ahead and sort it again. Take the things that you thought you were going to keep and sort them out once more. Then you're going to put it all away and you'll find it should look a lot neater now. So I've sort of brought all my clothes down to about a washing basket and a half if that's a valid unit of measurement. So that's my drawer of workout clothes and all my normal clothes are just hanging. So next week I'm going to try and have up another healthy eating video because you guys seem to want a few of those so I'll try and do that next week. But if I do another one of these, I guess minimalism series is what we can call it. If I do another one of these, what do you want to see next? Like what's the next part of the house that you want to know how to decorate? I mean, I get a lot of questions about how I do my bed frame and all that sort of thing but I don't know. Take a look at my house tour video, I'll pop it somewhere. Does that fit? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so take a look at that. Tell me if there's anything else you want to see. I love showing you guys, you know, where I get things from or how I do the processes of this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I have not thought of what to say, so that's why I sound really confused right now. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever it is where you are. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get this hair look. So other than your barrel curler, you're going to need a few little